Hi everyone and welcome back to World of Yohio. Today we're going to talk about five ways to fight anxiety. Let's get into it. Before we dive into this episode, I just wanted to say thank you. Really, thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening to this podcast. Thank you to every single one of you. I never even pictured myself being able to do this. I never saw myself as someone who could have a podcast. But since you guys really seem to like this, I'm, I'm getting a lot of energy from that. And you, you guys make me want to go on doing this. And uh, I hope that I'm bringing you some kind of value. And uh, I will continue this as long as I can. So uh, if you have something you would like me to talk about or, or a specific guest that you think that I would be able to get on, on this podcast, leave a comment. If you're listening to this on YouTube, for example, just drop a comment because I read them, okay? and give me some feedback. Tell me what you don't like, tell me what you like, and tell me what you want to hear, what you want me to talk about, and, uh, and I'll consider doing an episode. So I really want your feedback, guys, because it's you who are listening to this, not me. So of course, I'll talk about things that I want to talk about too, but I really want to hear your, your opinions about this. So you can also write, uh, your suggestions or your thoughts on Twitter at hashtag world of Yohio and uh, I'll I'll read it so yeah I just wanted to throw that out there if you want to stay updated then you can follow me on Instagram at y-o-h-i-o Yohio or Twitter at Yohio underscore this rain and if you want to support my work with this podcast or my music and my music videos and everything that comes with it, then you can consider becoming a supporter on Patreon, patreon.com slash yohio. And uh, with that said, let's dive into this episode about fighting anxiety. I hope you like it. Let's go. <laughs> Every day won't be a dance where everything's going your way. You will have days that suck. You will have days when you absolutely don't want to do it. There will be times of immense setback and struggle. It can be long periods of time. That's the most crucial test you will be faced with. This is just a way for the universe to sort out the weeds. Most people will fail this test. They will give up the fight. Those who push through the most devastating setbacks are the people who will come out stronger on the other side, success waiting around the corner. The struggle is always in proportion to how big your ambitions are. Always keep that in mind when things get rough. Push through. It's a test to see how bad you want it. So whenever you find yourself in a place of struggle, times when you feel like you just can't take it anymore, be strong. I know it sounds cliche, but it's the only way through. You just have to get yourself together and pick up the sword to fight again. It's fine to feel down once in a while. The trick is to not let it take over your life. Feel sorry for yourself for a second, then do something about it. Even times when you can't control the situation, just do something, anything. That's better than letting the negativity drag you down its bottomless pit of anxiety and depression. You can't let it win you over. I've been dealing with anxiety since my early teens, so I know it's not a game. It can be very serious for some of us. Struggling with anxiety can be a frustrating experience. Sometimes you 
just don't know what to do about it. When you have big dreams, anxiety is sure to follow. We feel stressed about not being where we want to be in life. There's a feeling of not being enough, not living up to our full potential. This is normal, but it can be tough. Anxiety is very hard to ignore when it gets its hold of you. There are things you can do to fight this. Nothing is hopeless. We just need to know how to deal with it. Throughout the years, I've found a number of things that seem to help in various degrees. Keep in mind though that this is very individual. What works for me may or may not work for you. But let me just share these five ways to fight anxiety. Number one, be productive. The first thing you need to do is to take a look at your schedule. Do you have anything special planned for today? Are there any specific projects going on that you absolutely need to work on no matter how you feel? Let's say it's Wednesday and you really need to get that work done before the weekend kicks in. Well, then you need to get to work. You can't procrastinate just because you're feeling bad. It's very easy to fall for the trap that anxiety sets for you, but you need to be stronger than that. And I know it can be really hard, but once you start working on something that needs to be done, really focusing on the task at hand, your anxiety level will drop because you're not paying any attention to it. So get out of bed and do something productive with your day. Number two, be active. The second thing you can do to make yourself feel a little bit better is to be active. Move your body. Go to the gym and work up a sweat. Get those endorphins going. Take a walk in the park, the woods, or just stroll down the street in the city. Walk your dog. Go buy some groceries. The important thing is that you don't spend too much time dwelling at home all by yourself letting the anxious thoughts get to you. Get some fresh air and activate the circulation of your blood. Maybe it won't kill the anxiety completely, but you will definitely feel a lot better for the time being. Your physiology is just as important for your mental well-being as a healthy mindset. Number three. Be social. The third thing you can try is being social. Being around other people, especially friends that you like hanging out with, can make you feel more at ease. If there's anything specific that you're anxious about, you can always talk to them about it. Get it out of your system. Complain about it and get some feedback. Maybe they can help you see things from a different perspective or even come up with a solution to your problems. If you don't know why you're feeling that way, Laughing and just having a good time with the people you like most can get you in a better mood and out of the anxious state of mind for a while. Go watch a movie, grab some coffee, play games, or just take it easy at a friend's place. It really has a great effect. So get out there and be social. Number four, read something inspirational. The fourth tip is to read something inspirational. This can be anything from a biography depicting the life of a successful entrepreneur to an epic fantasy novel in which the hero overcomes the forces of evil, which can of course allegorically represent your anxiety. It doesn't really matter what it is, but it has to be something that makes you feel even the slightest that you're capable of overcoming anything, whatever life throws at you. Stories about going against all odds and winning after a long struggle are the most powerful for this purpose, for obvious reasons. So read something inspirational. Number five, relax. The final advice I have on this topic is a very simple one. Just relax. If you're into practices like meditation, I would really recommend it. 
You can do a simple mindfulness meditation by focusing on being aware of your surroundings, the sounds, the colors, the small details of everything around you. You can also try the opposite, sitting in a preferably dark, silent room, breathing deeply and slowly while trying your best to block out all incoming thoughts. If a thought pops up in your head, just ignore it and imagine it floating away to bother someone else. Empty your thoughts and just breathe. If you're not into that kind of thing, I recommend trying it out. But if you're not interested, there are other things you can do to relax. Take a hot bath or a long shower. Watch your favorite movie or Netflix series. Play that game you like. Treat yourself to a cup of tea or other hot beverage. Whatever makes you feel relaxed and at ease, do it. But don't just do that because then you're just procrastinating and pushing your problems into the future. We all need some rest once in a while, otherwise we will get burned out. Balance it with the other tips and you will have a good start at defeating anxiety. Thank you for listening to this episode of World of Yohio. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it brought some kind of value to your life. I hope you learned something that can help you on your way to defeating anxiety. Because we all struggle. We all deal with anxiety from time to time. And for some of us, it's worse than others. So just remember, when you're anxious, push through. Do these tips and try to just do something about it when it happens. Because we all have it. And remember that you're not alone. We all struggle, so let's struggle together and let's kill that anxiety. Let's just do our best and stay positive, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.